All right, so oftentimes I get requests on giving my students some examples of going through some subnetting uh, scenarios, but for class Bs. So if we're working between a slash 16 and a slash 24, that's considered a class B. All right, now we can work with class B subnet masks with any IP address range. Um, I'm going to specifically utilize 172.16 address spaces just to kind of keep it consistent with the class B range. Um, but let's go through a few examples and then um, once we are done with this section, then we will be wrapped up for today's class. So uh, the first example that I'm going to do is 172.16.10.25. And I'm going to utilize a slash 23. So when we look at the slash 23, remember since this is going to be our third octet instead of our fourth octet for our mask, right? Our subnet mask is going to be 255, 255. We're going to be specifically focusing in on that third octet. We can count over from a slash 16 to a slash 23, or we can count over from, you know, 24, 23, right? Either way would work. So this would be, you know, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Some people forget that this is 24. That's why I just started from 17 in the opposite direction, whichever way you'd like to do it. All right, so we know that our increment is two. Now, when we look at any time we're figuring out you know, our networks, we said that we always start with zero, but instead of just that fourth octet being zero, the third and the fourth octet need to be zero. So our first network is gonna be 172.16.0.0. Now our second network is going to increment by two. So 172.16.2.0. And then the next network would be 4.0, and then 6.0, and then 8.0, and then 10.0, right? So we know that this is going to fall into the 10.0 network, right? So when we do our NF, LB, our network's going to be the 172.16.10.0 subnet. What's going to be our next network? Good, 12.0. Now, the only tricky thing with um, counting backwards from our uh, third octet is that instead of just decrementing that third octet, we also need to decrement that fourth octet. And we're going to count backwards from 0 to 255. Think of it kind of like dollars and cents. When we count down from $5 in pennies, we do 4.99, 4.98. So we have to do both decimals in this case. So our broadcast is going to be 172.16, and let's count back. So 11.255. And for those of you with your subnet calculators, go ahead and double check this for me. Pull up your subnet calculators and make sure that I'm doing this right. All right, so our first usable is gonna be 16.10.1. And then we'll count all the way from 10.1, 10.2, 10.3, 10.4, you know, all the way up until we get to 10.255, which means technically 11.0 is a usable IP. It's not actually gonna be a network. So 11.0, 11.1, those are all usable IPs all the way through 172, 16, 11.254. Remember we said we could double check our broadcast because they're odd numbers and our last usable host is usually an even number. All right, so that's one example of going through a class B subnetting scenario. Um, so we found our networks, we found our other info, we just need to determine what our mask is. 
So we know that this is 255 and this is 255, the first two octets. Now since this is on and this is on and this is on and this is on and this is on, and so is this and so is this, you know, we could certainly add up 128, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, and 2, or we already did the math and we can use that 254. All right, so feel free to verify and double check my work. Make sure that looks good. Please let me know if it's not for any reason. <laughs> All right, let me um, clear this up and then we'll go through one more example. And then I will let you guys go so you can enjoy your weekend. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is 172, 16, 5.45. And this time let's do a slash 22. All right, so we can count backwards if this is a 24 and this is a 23 and this is our 22, then we're gonna be incrementing our numbers by four, our networks by four. So what is gonna be our first network? And then our next network, right, is going to be 4.0. And then our next network is going to be 8.0. And we're just going to keep incrementing by 4, right? So if our next network is 8.0, this actually fits nicely between that second and that third network. So if we were to do our NFLB, our network is 172, 16, 0, 0. Oh, I'm sorry, 4.0. I was looking at the wrong line item. And then our broadcast is going to be what? If we were to count backwards from the 8.0, Good, excellent, 7.255. So instead of, you know, counting down from $8 to $7.99, <laughs> we're gonna be counting down to uh, $255, all right? You can kind of replace $255 with your 99 cents. <laughs> so our uh, last usable, 254, and then our first, 4.1. All right, and then last but not least, if we were to try and figure out what our mask info is, what would that be? Does that look good? Everybody agree with that? <laughs> Good deal. All right. Well, um, if you guys want any other examples or if you want some subnetting homework, I'll be happy to give you guys some examples that you can work on over the weekend. Otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful, fabulous weekend, and I look forward to seeing you all in class on Monday. All right, everybody, take care.